Warm welcome dear students. So in continuation with the previous session, we are going to discuss about the various types of refrigeration systems. By now you know that what a refrigeration system is, what are the different terms involved in explaining the refrigeration system. So today we will see the different types of refrigeration systems. Mainly, you can classify the refrigeration system into four mechanical compression system, absorption system, evaporative cooling, and thermoelectric cooling. So, compression refrigeration, there will be a compressor involved. Okay, the working medium, commonly known as refrigerant, after absorbing heat from the space to be cooled, will be entering into the compressor which will be compressed to very high pressure and temperature in this compressor which can be rotary or linear compressor. Nowadays you can see hermetically sealed compressors. Now that compressed working medium refrigerant at very high temperature and pressure will be given to this condenser where the heat rejection will be taking place with the help of some external circulation of fluid. Heat will be rejected. So, absorption is taking place in the evaporator and condenser. The rejection, heat rejection will be taking place. Whatever heat is absorbed from here will be rejected here. And later, the pressure and temperature will be reduced using this expansion valve and given back to the evaporator. Again, the heat absorption will be taking place. So, a cyclic process. There will be four components, four different components. This is a commonly and most commonly and generally adopted refrigeration. Uh, cycle mechanical vapor combustion system. So, there is a mechanical component involved there, compressor which should be powered from an external source. Second type of refrigeration system is absorption refrigeration system where the compressor is eliminated. There is no compressor at all, there is no compressor, but that is replaced by an absorber generator combination. An absorber generator combination replace the compressor. So, there won't be any requirement of external power. This generator can work with any low heat source like waste heat source from an IC engine or solar thermal energy, anything can be used in it, used to power the generator here. So, there is no moving elements here. There are no moving elements in this type of refrigeration. Now, next category is evaporative cooling. Most of you are familiar with that, right. So, whenever you are sweat, right. If there is a cool breeze blowing over your skin, you will feel very comfortable, right? That is evaporative cooling. So, you can see here, there is a kind of fin arrangement, okay? Water will be sprinkled onto it and the hot air will get transformed into cold air because of the passing of air through the water sprinklers. So, it is very effective in dry climates where humidification as well as cooling are required. So, we will see this in detail when we discuss about air conditioning system. Okay? And most of the coolers, air coolers you might have seen in households, the evaporative cooling technique is employed. The effect will not be as much as air conditioning, but still on an average we can get some comfort level. Now coming to the last category, which is also known as a refrigeration system without a refrigerant, thermoelectric cooling system, where Peltier effect is employed to reduce refrigeration. You know the thermoelectric principles, Seebach effect, then Peltier effect. So, usually the Seebach effect is used to produce 
electricity. The reverse of that, when you supply some electricity, some current flow here, we can see here, which can be converted to some refrigeration system. So there will be continuous transfer of heat from the cooled plate to hot plate using some uh, very simple mechanisms and smaller components of like a fan or a blower, some plates and some semiconductors and a small battery would be enough to make a thermoelectric cooling device. So these four are the major classification of refrigeration system. There are uh, other refrigeration systems like adiabatic magnetization refrigeration system, steam jet refrigeration system. All these are different kinds of refrigeration system, but still these four are termed as the major classification of refrigeration systems. If you have any questions, please comment below. Your valuable feedbacks and suggestions are welcome to improve the lectures in future. Thank you.